Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm sharing slimline cards. These are the new trend in card making. I personally like them because you have more real estate to cover up. I'm going to showcase new dies that have just been released by Waffle Flower. These are perfect for slimline cards and they are going to help you create really basic shapes and designs. So I'm going to share a few of ideas today. So this first one is the lacy layers. You get seven dies in the set. All of them have lovely stitching all around and you can see the middle section is lovely for creating strips as well as for stamping your sentiment. Every other one is a perfect rectangle with a lovely stitching design and the ones in between have uh, a scalloped edge so you can layer them one on top of the other and the fun part about these dies is that they are going to make slimline cuts really easy because it takes out the guessing of the measurements. You know that by using the outer layer it's going to fit nicely on the standard business card envelope. I am going to use these dies on today's video so you will see them in action. This is the slimline angled panel. Super easy to create a slimline card with that. It has a lovely stitching all around and it measures 3.5 by 8.5. So your standard slimline card. This is a slimline stripes die. It's going to give you 7 different sizes. You can use your paper trimmer to cut out strips of paper, however they are all going to be slightly different. With a die like this one, you know that all of the strips are going to be identical. And now this is my favorite, this is the Slimline Window Trio. I am going to take out the border, the outside one, so you can see what you get. Three square windows and at the bottom these are not going to die cut anything, however if you want you can fit inside those little slim dies and um, you can have uh, for example sentiments in there. Now I'm going to show you how it works, I will use it in one of my uh, cards today, but I love that it also comes with extra squares, hearts, circles and sentiment dies and they do have a lovely stitching on these shapes as well. So let's start with the first card for today and for that I'm going to use the Trio window die. As you can see it is larger than my platform. This is not a problem, you run it once, make sure that it is secured down with washi tape. Slimline dies do fit on the big Gemini if you have that die cutting machine, however for demonstration reasons and so that you can see exactly what I'm doing, I'm using my standard platform here, this is the spell binders, but even if you have the Sizzix it works the same way. So you run it once, then you move it forward and run it one more time. This is going to give you your top panel for your card and it is going to measure 3.5 by 8.5. And that's the exact same size of the card that I'm going to create as well. Along with the window panel you do get the three squares, don't throw them away, I'm going to use them too. So you do end up with a panel that has three windows and you do end up with an area at the bottom where you can stamp your sentiment if you like. Now I'm going to do some inking on the little squares and these are going to be the background for each and every one of those windows. For all the little squares I'm going to use different colors and I decided to go with blues, yellows and greens. So for each one of those squares I'm going to use a lighter and a darker shade so that it doesn't look so flat. But of course instead of doing that inking you can always use some pattern paper for the background. Lately I tend to do all my inking on top of the media mats by Waffle Flower. This is the mini one. I like it because it's white. You can wipe it off really easily. When I do my inking directly on top of my glass mat, just because it is black, I tend to forget to clean it up because I cannot see if it is dirty. And then I transfer ink on my project in places where I don't want to. So I am making an effort to always bring out that uh, silicone mat and do the inking there. So you see now I can tell easily that this is dirty. When you use the Trio window panel, it's really easy to come up with a design. So you have three windows, all you need to do is to add some creature, for example, inside or even flowers popping out of the windows. I am going with the panda from the Be Him stamp set by Waffle Flower. It comes with many different creatures, this one, and even accessories to uh, dress them up. 
And there is a similar one which is called Be Hair that I'm going to use on the next card. Now, again, different creatures along with accessories to dress them up. Now, I can use different creatures on each and every one of the windows to make it even more interesting. However, I'm going to keep it simple and I'm just going to use the panda for all three windows. So, just to demonstrate that you don't need to have too many stamps, just a flower in all three of the windows or just one creature is going to be just fine. I stamped him three times, used the matching die to die cut him, and since the panda is black and white, I'm not going to bother with coloring. All I'm doing is to add just a touch of uh, pink on his cheeks. I'm using foam tape at the back so that I can pop that on my card, and uh, my card measures 3.5 by 8.5. Now I have those three little squares that I inked up. These are going to be the backgrounds for all the three windows. I'm going to stick them with glue. These are going to fit nicely inside those windows. And they're going to fall there. And although I'm using the same focal point three times, plus my focal point is black and white, I'm going to add color on the card by using those colorful backgrounds. Super quick and simple. Now I'm going to decide where I want these guys to go and I'm going to place them popping from the window from different directions just for the fun of it. I may chop a little bit from the bottom so that I can tuck them underneath the window in the corners. And again you can dress them up if you have this stamp set however I decided to keep everything really simple. Now you can stamp the sentiment at the bottom where you have that white big strip. However, I decided to give them speech bubbles just for the fun of it. This is from an old die set which is called Speech Bubbles Die and it gives you many different sizes all the way from super huge to super small and uh, I am going to stamp there Happy Happy Birthday. This sentiment comes from the Waffle Flower Rainbows stamp set but really any sentiment would work as long as you can separate it in three different areas. So, for example, you can have thanks for everything or have a great day. Just play around with what you have. Now, just because I am obsessed with gems, I always want to add a few here and there on my projects. And I pick yellow for the yellow background, green for the green background and blue for the blue one. So everything matches perfectly. I'm going to add three of those gems in each one of those windows. And I'm going to call this card done. Here are some close-up photos where you can see that although I repeated the exact same image on all three windows, it looks really interesting and I'm super happy with the result. For the second card, I'm going to play with the slim lacy layers. I use the bigger one that has a scallop all around to cut out my main white panel and the smaller one that has that um, lovely stitching all around to die cut seven pieces of colored cardstock following rainbow order. Now I am going to use my misty just so that I can use the corner down there and I can align them easily one next to the other. Of course you can use a T-ruler for that, all I want to do is to somehow put them together. You can even stick them on top of a scrap piece of paper. Then I'm going to keep them together with some washi tape and add at the back double sided tape. The easiest way, of course, would be to stick all of these uh, strips of paper on top of uh, scrap cardstock. However, I didn't want to double up on cardstock since I am planning to use the scalloped edge die and run them through my die cutting machine. This way I will end up with a rainbow panel that fits perfectly on top of the white panel that I did cut out earlier. And you see here my washi tape was too tacky for the job, so I am peeling off a little bit of cardstock, but that's not a problem since I did cut out a way longer piece that I, than I actually needed, and I'm going to cover it up later on. I picked the unicorn from the Be Hair stamp set. I'm going to stamp, color it with my alcohol markers, and then die cut it with a matching die. Again, this is really quick and simple coloring. I kept the actual animal white and just added a few accents. Now I did die cut a couple of clouds. These are from the rainbow die set. And you will see that I am even going to use my scissors and customize the bigger cloud a little bit because it's going to cover up too much of my focal point of my little uh, unicorn. Now I'm using a very light blue ink, this is tumbled glass I believe, to add just a touch of blue at the back so that when you place the clouds on top are not going to be white on white and they're going to pop a little bit more. 
So now I am sticking down the rainbow and this is a great idea to cover up loads of real estate on top of a slimline card and then just add clouds on the top. So you see I did customize the larger cloud to make it just a touch smaller to not cover up too much of the unicorn. For the smaller of the clouds I went completely flat with glue while for the bigger uh, cloud I'm using foam tape and I'm going to pop it at the top of my rainbow. The idea is to cover up that straight line at the top of the rainbow so you don't see that at all. And then you can have a sentiment stamped on the bigger white cloud. You can have a sentiment at the bottom of the rainbow. I decided to go with a die cut word that says rainbows again from the same set as the clouds. And I'm going to finish it off with a stamped sentiment that says of wishes. So it's going to read rainbows of wishes. And I'm absolutely in love with this colorful card. I think it's going to make the recipient super happy. And to tell you the truth, I absolutely love all three of the slimline cards that I made for today. So let's move on to the third and last card. And this time I'm using the large panel with the stripes. Now this makes a slimline card super easy. All you have to do is to die cut a panel and then die cut different colored cardstock or pattern paper and fill it in. This is going to create a lovely colorful background and you can use it for pretty much any occasion. And I don't know what it is about stitched lines, but they really make a project come together. It gives that professional look. So anyway, I did die cut the main panel out of a white cardstock, but I'm not going to throw these ones. These are perfect for stamping sentiments and use them on cards later on. So no waste here. For die cutting the strips for the inside, I'm going to use pattern paper by Waffle Flower. These are the Christmas dots and lines. These are really basic, although they are marketed as Christmas. I think that you can use them throughout the year since they have a lot of basic colors along with stripes and dots. You will find solid colors, you will find different designs and if you are not familiar with this uh, pattern paper by Waffle Flower, check them out. They do have many of these pads in different color combos and the fun part is that they are very thick. They are 80 pounds of uh, cardstock so this means that um, when you cut out one of those pages you can fold it in half and you can have a card base out of it. It is also thick enough to die cut pieces and they are going to have a good substantial thickness. And check this out, the inside is white to write or stamp your message and you get a bonus design at the back. There are 36 pages in each pack and there are 12 different designs included. For today's card I'm going for a Christmas card so I will use the solid red one for the letters as well as the different three solid colors or shades of green for the inserts but uh, remember you can use them throughout the year. I highly recommend them because you get all this value for just $10 and you will find the links down below where you can see all the different color combos that are available. So back to the card, all I did was to stick that uh, panel on top of my card base and now I'm going to place inside the three shades of green that I have. I'm going to repeat the same pattern from darker to lighter and then back again. I'm sticking everything down with my Nouveau Deluxe glue. Everything fits nicely inside like a puzzle. It's a super easy and fun pattern to create. You can uh, play with different color combos for all occasions and uh, you can use up your scraps pattern papers for that. Now I do end up having uh, lots and lots of those strips so I can make more than one card with the die cutting that I already did with the three different colors of cardstock. I am going for a Christmas card so I'm going to use this new alpha die. This is the white alpha die by Waffle Flower and I'm going to spell Mary. Now mine is a prototype, so don't worry, yours are going to come nicely packaged. I am going to use the solid red from this pad and cut out all the letters that I need. I'm going to add tiny little foam tape at the back and then place them on top of my uh, panel. I need to make sure that these are nicely aligned, that's why I'm using a ruler to make sure that they are straight as well as centered. So you see I am playing a little bit with their placement before I peel off the backing and then once I'm happy I'm going to stick them down. 
I stamped the word everything to complete my sentiment and of course you can go with Christmas and I don't know if you can notice but this white strip of paper is actually one of the die cut pieces when I die cut the panel. Now I'm going to embellish my sentiment on the left and on the right with a few holly berries that I have on hand and this is going to finish off my card. Just like always, you will find links to all the products that I use to create my three cards down below in the description area. This video is also part of a blog hub, there are lots of giveaways to be won, so make sure to visit my blog to find out all about it. I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for visiting and I hope you will all have a lovely weekend.